Assalamu alaikum. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Zulfiqar Muhammad. Uh, in this uh, lecture, I will discuss with you the Rx for childhood hyperopia and when and how and why. Uh, the hyperopia is a condition of the eye in which parallel rays are focused behind the retina. In the management, we need to put this image in the retina. Uh, also, hyperopia is a common type of refractive error, as we know, but there are many appearances of its development and subsequent effect and impact on its management in childhood that were poorly understood because no, not available uh, uh, convenient strategy for the management of hypermetropia. Uh, the epidemiology of uh, hypermetropia is also different and more variation according to the definition and according to the prevalence criteria. Uh, in this study for multi ethnic pediatric eye disease study group, they report different uh, prevalence according to the ethnic groups. In the Hispanic, they find uh, 26.9, Asian American 13, and white Americans 25 percent, uh, African American 20.8. Also, in this study by Connor, they reported uh, the, the range for of prevalence from 0.9 to 12.8, depending, depending on the age and test a uh, test and the definition of hypermetropia. The prevalence in young urban school children in Sydney, Australia, was 38.5% uh, in unselected uh, population. Also, overall prevalence of hyperopia uh, is 10% 10, 10 approximately in 14 million people in the United States, according to, uh, to TRUB uh, in two, uh, 2006. Uh, what is the bottom of Rx in childhood hypermetropia? This is an important question. Uh, children with hypermetropia, more than uh, 3.5 diameter of spherical equivalent, are at high risk of development of refractive amblyopia. And this is a critical point uh, of hypermetropia. The, there is many factors for our Rx is eye alignment, Social factor as children wearing glasses can be victimized by their friends. Accom uh, accommodative uh, or accommodation condition and optimum visual function. And if I said visual function, I mean all the visual function, visual acuity uh, and uh, binocular vision at all. There are a number of uh, published guidelines regarding uh, what level of hyperopia should consider for correction in children. But significant hyperopia, if uncorrected, can produce visual discomfort or blurred vision, amblyopia, and binocular vision dysfunction, including strabismus, and contribute to learning problems. The treatment should be initiated both relief symptoms and reduce the future risk of vision. And there is two uh, aims for the treatment. Uh, relief symptoms, if there is symptoms, and the, uh, to reduce the future risk of vision problem resulting from hyperopia. When considering prescription glasses for the children, must be asked uh, myself more questions. This question will be key points uh, to write good Rx. Is the refractive errors within the normal range? Will this particular child refractive errors emetropize? Will this level of refractive errors disrupt normal visual development of functional vision? Will prescribed spectacles uh, improve visual function of the child? and will prescribing glasses interferes with the normal process of emetropization? This uh, question suggested by uh, Susan, uh, 2012. Uh, 
2011. The strategy of strategies for correction is uh, not universal. And there is no universal approach to correct hypermetropia. Uh, each patient should be considered in terms of and individually, but consider in these terms. Age, degree of symptoms, amount of hypermetropia, amplitude of accommodation, and visual acuity, and profession of the patient. The aims of correction are less the accommodative demands, a clear and comfortable vision, binocular single vision. Uh, there is uh, groups for uh, correction, uh, hypermetropia, or for writing Rx for hypermetropia. This group divided according to the uh, American uh, optometry from pairs to 10 years. A young children in this group with low moderate hypermetropia, but without uh, strabismus and without uh, amblyopia and no significant or asymptomatic or asymptomatic or no significant vision problems which usually not require treatment decreased visual acuity binocular anomalies or functional vision problems may sig uh, uh, signal the need for treatment a survey of prescribing pattern suggested that for two years old many practitioners use a threshold of three diameter of bilateral, but bilateral asymptomatic hypermetropia, while some use threshold of five diopters uh, uh, to correct hypermetropia. Hyperopic correction should also be prescribed along with other intervention like occlusion or active therapy for all young patients with actual or suspected amblyopia or strabismus. Optical correction should be based on Static retinoscopy, dry and wet, that means cycloplegic or not. Accommodative assessment, binocular assessment, AC over A ratio, a med modification as needed to facilitate binocularity and compliance. Corf careful follow up is important and a frequent lens scan may be needed. Uh, when compliance proves difficult, the optometrist may encourage concept of prescribe treatment by using psychoblegic agents to play uncorrected vision if needed. Uh, the other group from 10 to uh, 50, 15 years, children between the age of uh, 10 to 15 years who have low hyperopia require no, correct, no correct, uh, correction because the hyperopia is asymptomatic. Uh, asymptomatic and the accommodation compensates this little power of hyperopia. Amplitude of accommodation reserve compensates the visual problems related to their hypermetropia. Under increased visual stress and symptoms, the child requires correction. Patients with moderate degree of hypermetropia are more likely to require at least part-time correction, especially those who have significant near demands or have accommodative or binocular anomalies. Uh, other approach uh, in the management of hypermetropia is binocular vision. Along with assessment of refractive errors, patient with hyperopia should undergo evaluation for ocular motility, binocular vision, and accommodative assessment to see uh, near point of accommodation in the binocular vision to see near point of convergence also. Anomalies of any, any of this uh, visual function may result in visual acuity and visual performance deficit. Uh, the following, the, this is guidelines uh, done by uh, b b said preferred uh, practice guidelines by pediatric eye evaluations in the American Academy of Salmology. Uh, they write if the patient less than uh, one year uh, and the power is six diameter and less, no need to one year to two years and less than five diameter, no need two to three years and less than 4.5 diameter, no need less than four years uh, or more than four, uh, four years and less than four diameters is no need. 
and this is problem also in the individually. To determine the best spectacle RX for maintaining ocular alignment and comfortable accommodative demand, the optometrist should assess the effect of plus lens power on any dysfunction prior to cycloblegia, because cycloblegia uh, diminishes the effect of accommodation. Okay, and if the child wears the glass, uh, he feels comfort or she feels comfort. When the effect of, effect of uh, cycloblegia is removed, he feels not good. For that, it is better to check with, without a uh, uh, prior to cycloblegia. Full hypermetropic refractive correction is, run, is uh, rented in patients with amblyopia and or esotropia. According to the cover test, uh, then the, uh, we have three conditions, uh, isotropia, if there is isotropia and hypermetropia, gives the maximum blood correction which does not severely affect vision. If isophoria, the maximum blood correction which does not uh, play uh, vision is given. Exophoria exists, the plus correction is usually less than the full correction. If it is maximum correction, it is accompanied by based in or by orthoptic exercise. Also, full correction should be made when there is constant or intermittent isotropia, pseudomyopia, and much near work required mark eye strain. In the refractive accommodative isotropia, as this case from uh, Iowa Healthcare University, uh, before he, he or she wear the glass, the eye is convergent. After we full correction, full uh, plus correction, the eye is aligned. That means it's good option for this case is glasses with full amount of hypermet uh, hypermetropic correction as determined by cycloblegic refraction. Children with high hyperopia and exotropia are likely to have development delay or other systemic disease, amblyopia and poor stereopsis. Children with high hyperbolobia and exotropia are likely, uh, as I said, be, uh, be, uh, in, in, there is problems in uh, uh, systemic disease or amblyopia and poor stereopsis. In the conclusion, Rx for hypermetropia is essential when a risk factor is present would appear to be logical to avoid the development of amblyopia. Recent study found that prescribing the small and, uh, smallest amount of hyperopic correction needed to allow near focusing does not embed emetropization and uh, must be equalized between these uh, two points. The close link between hyperopia, amblyopia, and strabismus, especially in children, make hyperopia a, a greater risk for risk factors than the myopia for a great degree of permanent visual loss. Thank you for your attention and stay home, stay safe.